My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 42 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at preliminary tests. Jam will ask you a question like, a substance which appears white when cold and yellow when hot is likely to be dashed. What do you say? When you hear things like this, they are under preliminary tests. A substance which when cold appears white and when hot appears yellow. Ion present is zinc ion or the compound is a zinc oxide. In practical chemistry, we have quantitative analysis and volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis is used to calculate the amount of substance present. For example, in titration, what we are dealing with is volumetric analysis. You see the volume of acid present, the volume of base present, the number of moles present, all these are volumes. But Qualitative analysis helps us to identify the ions, the elements or compounds that are present using various tests. And we have two types of tests. We have the preliminary test and the confirmatory test. The pre preliminary test is to know what is suspected. For example, you are in your house, then you hear on your door. What is suspected is a human being knocking, right? What you suspect may not actually be what you confirm. You go out, you open your door, you discover that it is a dog. You're like, seriously? So, the confirmation is different from what? The preliminary test or what we suspect. But other times, you open the door, you actually see a human being. Most of the time, what you suspect or the confirmatory test or the preliminary test usually becomes the confirmatory test. But you can't always conclude. Remember, it is not over until it is over. Now, when it comes to preliminary test, we have different types of tests. Appearance test. Based on how something appears, you can tell the compound or the ion present. The flame test. When this substance or compound bonds, what color of flame does it produce? Then, that is another preliminary test. The action of heat. When you heat this substance, what does it change to? What color does it produce? What happens when heated? So, we shall look at all these as you can see on the board. Let's start with the appearance test. A green colored salt is likely to be ion two salt. When you are given a salt and you are told that the color of the salt is green, that is ion two salt. Color of ion two salt is green. Then a white colorless salt. There are many ions present on the probable salt when they are white colorless. Examples are calcium ions, lead ion, ammonium ion, aluminum ion, zinc ion salt. So any salt containing calcium ion lead ion, ammonium ion, aluminum ion, and zinc ion will be colorless salt, white colorless, white or colorless salt. And any salt that has the smell of ammonia will likely be ammonium salt. Smell of ammonia, ammonium salt. Any salt that has the smell of sulfur, know that tetraosulfate 4 is suspected. SO3 2 minus is suspected. And when a salt has the smell of hydrogen sulfide, know that sulfide is present. These are appearance tests. Now let's look at flame test. For color of flames, when a substance or a compound burns with blue 
or livid blue flame. Know that lead iron is present. It burns with blue or livid blue flames. Jam we say a substance burns producing a blue or livid blue flame. Which of the following is suspected? Know that it is a blue or livid blue flame. This class is also very, very important for those sitting for WAEG. Yes, for those sitting for NECU. Yes, for those writing GCE. Yes. And by the way, if you are preparing for NECU, WAEG, GCE, or any exam, this series will help you as well. Don't feel because it is jam series, it will not help in any other exam. No. If you use this series to prepare for any exam, there is no way you will not score extremely high if you understand everything and you make use of the Flash Learner Jam app which is also available for WAEC, for Common Entrance, for um, Bessel, and almost all the exams for TTME. If a substance burns with lilac flame or violet color, it is potassium ion. The color of flame or potassium ion is lilac or violet color. And brick red is calcium ion. When you hear it burns with a brick red color, that is calcium ion, brick red. And bluish green is copper 2 ion. Copper 2 ion, bluish green. Then, golden yellow is sodium ion. Sodium ion burns with golden yellow. Or when the compound burns, giving us a golden yellow flame, we know that sodium ion is present. Then, light green flame, barium ion is present. Ba2. Plus. Now, let's see the action. Of heat. When ammonia is heated, no, when a substance is heated and you are told that ammonium gas was evolved, that means ammonium ion is present. If hydrogen gas is evolved when heated, know that NO3 ion is present. If NO2 is evolved when heated, know that NO3 minus is present. When SO2 gas is evolved, know that SO3 minus is present when carbon four oxide gas is evolved know that there's a presence or suspect or we are suspecting co3 2 minus or hco3 minus and when hydrogen sulfide gas is evolved we are suspecting the presence of sulfur ion s2 minus and this is color change when heated when a substance which appears yellow when cooled becomes when the substance which appears white when cold becomes yellow when hot. We are suspecting zinc ion and we are suspecting the compound to be zinc oxide. A compound which appears yellow when cold and reddish brown when hot is likely going to be lead ion, PPO, lead oxide. A compound which appears yellow when cold and reddish brown when hot, there is presence of PB2. There is a gentleman. All these are preliminary tests to look for what is being suspected. In the next episode, we shall be looking at confirmatory tests, tests for anions and tests for cations. It is also going to be very, very interesting. Please watch this video over and over to understand all these tests. And don't forget to get the Flash Learner Jam app using this description or visiting flashlearners.com for videos version or reaching me directly for guide and questions. All those things will make you do very, very well. Remember, to whom much is given should not run away with it. Ladies and gentlemen, see you. Make sure you are fine, obey your parents and guardians.